Hey everyone, I uh, wanted to take a few minutes and do a follow-up video to the one a few weeks ago uh, regarding the walk around of the Cobra. I uh, figured I would get underneath and just kind of show you some of the uh, things I didn't get to show in the previous video. So uh, starting here with the uh, front brakes, uh, this is the driver's side front. You can see the caliper is uh, pretty wet. Uh, it's been leaking fluid for some time. Uh, so this is on the list of things to get done right away before I start driving this car. Uh, you know, stepping back a little bit, you can see it's got the original Ford control arms that were hacked up and then uh, the bracket bolted on just to put the uh, factory five coilovers on. So uh, probably will eventually get tubular lowers for it and probably upgrade the coilovers. And then just coming over to the other side, you'll be able to see as well. Uh, this caliper is wet, leaking uh, as well, so both front calipers need to be replaced. Uh, so I'll do the calipers and pads. Uh, the rotors, I mean, this car itself only has 2,000 miles on it, so the rotors are fine. I'm just going to clean those up and uh, do the calipers. All right, coming back a little bit. Uh, so I apologize, not the best video angles. I'm laying on the ground. This thing's only a couple uh, feet off the ground, so doing the best I can with what I've got. Uh, skewed the transmission. It's uh, pretty clean. There was a little bit of oil that was coming down from the bell housing here. I think I'd mentioned that in the previous video. Pretty sure it's the intake manifold gasket leaking in the back and dripping down the, the side of the head on the driver's side. So I'll look into that uh, down the road. It's on the to-do list. Uh, also hard to see because it's a, you know, a little dark up here, but I do have the famous Ford leak where the Speedo cable output is leaking a little bit. Uh, it's dripping off of here. I've kind of wiped things down, but it's everything's wet down here. You can see it uh, looking at the f uh, video and whatnot. Uh, so that's something I have to address. Um, over here, I can show you, I would mentioned previously, the seats, the way they bolt the seats in these things are just supposed to be lagged through into the frame in four spots with just a lag bolt. On both sides, I did put an actual bolt with a uh, nut and washers, uh, at least in one location that I could get to. Uh, the others go into the round tube frame rail, else so there's no access. And then the, the third one goes into the large square, uh, which I can't get a through bolt through that. So this way I at least have something to give me a little bit of uh, faith in it, a little more than just the lag bolts. So uh, that's uh, one of the first things I did to this with the seats. All right, so here we are looking towards the back and you can see uh, kind of like I was just mentioning where the block is wet, uh, where it looks to be coming down the driver's side from uh, the back of the intake manifold. So uh, I cleaned this up already a little bit. And uh, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the uh, intake manifold off eventually either reseal the one that's on here, or I very well might swap this over to a carburetor style intake and get rid of the GT40 fuel injection setup um, and go to either a carburetor or a sniper just because I like that traditional look a little bit better. Um, coming over here, you can kind of see the vehicle does have tubular headers on it. Um, I think they were BBKs, I can't remember off the top of my head. They have been ceramic coated. Uh, so you can get a little bit of a view from down here. And then it just has the uh, Factory 5 J-pipes, no catalytic converters or anything connected here to the side pipe. All right, and here's a little bit of a better angle of the Speedo cable leak I was talking about. Uh, it does appear that it's coming down from in here where the uh, cable goes into the actual sensor housing. That seems to be a common problem with these. I had it on my uh, V8 Miata that had the same drivetrain in it, did the same thing. I ended up having to reseal it. So um, I'll pull that apart, get that taken care of because you know it's gonna just annoy me a little bit every time you run the thing, it starts to drip. So uh, something to address there. All right, and as you see in you know most of the Cobras, the shortest drive shaft you'll ever see. Uh, a little heavy bitty drive shaft going into the Fox 8.8 differential in the back. And then here we are looking from the back of the vehicle. Um, as you know, a few of you have already pointed out, this dove does have the cut Fox springs uh, with the quadra or quad shock set up, and then it does have the tethers on it uh, to hold everything in place. There's a lot of loose wiring that I've been kind of pointing out on this car that I need to kind of go through and 
cut, adjust, and whatnot. It does have an external fuel pump and filter that's been wired in here with a relay just kind of hanging around. So I'm going to clean that a little bit. And then it's got the brainless stainless fuel lines as well. Um, as far as the brakes go, I'm going to go over on this side just so there's less glare. It does have the factory drums. Both sides are leaking. Uh, uh, this side not as bad. The um, passenger side much worse. I am going to do the 11.65 uh, rotors with uh, the 46 or 47 millimeter Thunderbird caliper swap uh, just to kind of balance the braking out a lot better um, and get that done. Uh, we'll start with the front discs first because I'm still working on gathering parts to do all that. Um, do plan on also swapping over the diff cover and putting a nice aluminum one that's got, a, it's got some bracing on it. Uh, this thing does supposedly have 373s in it. I have not verified that yet. Uh, but it is on the to-do list. And then coming around under here, kind of going along with what I was just saying, there is a lot of wiring that's tucked up in here, just kind of hanging loose that I need to go ahead and address, cap off, remove, something along those lines, and just clean it up, because you can see it hanging down from behind the vehicle. So, Anyway, nothing too much in this video. I just kind of wanted to give a little update on it. Um, I, like I said, I have started ordering parts to do the brakes and everything. Yeah, here's the uh, passenger side. Hard to tell because of the darkness, but yeah, that wheel cylinder is leaking. Uh, so I have to uh, replace these things. The brakes on this thing aren't exactly the safest. And then, yeah, shame with these tires. You know, they look brand new because they only have 2,000 miles on them, but they're 20 years old. So... Those will probably have to get replaced pretty quickly because they are hard as a rock. So, Anyway, um, just want to do a real quick walk through the underside of the car. Uh, go over some of the things that I've got going on. Uh, one other thing that I'm going to be doing pretty quickly because I already ordered the parts is I did get the uh, 1965 Mustang ignition switch and wiring harness. I'm going to go ahead and put that in the dash to the left of the steering wheel. Uh, similar to the original Cobras, just because they'll kind of look period correct uh, and better than the tractor ignition key switch that's tucked up under the dash and uh, kind of have to reach under there to find. So I think that'll look nice once it's installed, so that's something that's in progress. Uh, also, just finally got the title on this thing, so I need to, uh, once the weather clears up, get this thing inspected and uh, get the title transferred because it's an out-of-state vehicle. So Ohio, I have to go through a few little extra steps just to get it in my name and get the title officially in place. So um, that's really all I got right now. Definitely going to be a lot more to come with this project car. Uh, please like and subscribe if you want to keep track of this project because it's going to be going on for some time. Thanks and have a great day. And for a little bonus content, I decided I would go ahead and get the front wheels off and just add this little bit to the video. So just kind of wanted to show you what it looks like with the wheels off so you can see what I'm dealing with here. Uh, you can kind of see right here, things are wet on this caliper. Uh, looks like it's leaking. Here we go. It's pretty rusty, nasty. Uh, there's a lot of moisture where the hose fitting goes in. So guessing that's leaking there and it's come around the back running down the back of the caliper everything's pretty wet in there so um and then also another view you can see the stock control arms being used and they were modified uh, it does have what were the guy called upgraded coilovers on it uh, i'm not sure what exactly they are have to look into it there's a label on here uh, just to see you know what these were uh, at the time um, and that does have the adjustable upper to match with the stock lowers and then kind of going back to what i was saying about wiring i just want to go ahead kind of loom all this stuff up on both sides clean it up make it look a little nicer so yeah so little view here inside the wheel well just to see what I've got going on and uh, what I'm going to be working with as time goes on with this car. All right. Well, as I said previously, uh, please like and subscribe. There's going to be a lot more to come on this and have a great day.